What's up, Misties? I have a new episode of Steven Universe to review, and today we're talking about political power. Now, you may have noticed uh, through my YouTube videos that I'm somewhat of a Mystery Science Theater 3000 fan uh, because of my name, The Real Manos, and this Tom Servo plush doll that uh, my wife Lindsay made for me years ago that I decided to keep in every video. Uh, I kind of like Mystery Science Theater 3000 a lot, and one of the things that really grabbed me about the Steven Universe series was uh, I had discovered that uh, Joel Hodson, the creator of Mystery Science Theater, and he was the star of it for the first five years of the show. Uh, I love him dearly, and he plays the mayor, Mayor Dewey, on the show. Uh, he's had a handful of um, episodes, uh, and I just dig the hell out of the fact that he's in this show. Uh, one kind of like nitpick uh, concerning that, though, is his character, out of all the uh, characters in the show, seems the most one-dimensional, uh, where he's kind of a jerk, dumb mayor type of character. Uh, that episode, uh, Political Power, actually kind of like uh, flips it a little bit, and we get to see a, uh, another side of him, which is I was really happy, because I assumed we, we would see uh, a good deal of him in this episode, uh, but we got to, I, I thought uh, we got to really kind of like, you know, you know, take a look at him a lot. Um, quick explanation on the plot. Uh, Pearl trying to come up with some sort of defense, defense against uh, Peridot's robots accidentally knocks out the power in the whole town uh, and can't be switched back on. Uh, so it's going to take some time. Either it'll come up tomorrow or a million years, uh, I think is what Pearl says. Uh, the mayor, obviously being responsible for all this kind of stuff, uh, comes to them because he knows at this point, like, hey, if something weird happens in this town, it's got to be them, not snake people or anything. You know, he actually, I don't know, he, he doesn't realize uh, ice cream melts in the sun, but he does know uh, that if there's problems, it's got to be uh, the crystal gems. So he goes to them and uh, wants their help, but the crystal gems are too busy. Uh, and they're really not that interested in helping. Uh, so Steven decides to go help them. And while they're out, he has this little interesting speech about how uh, when when you're a leader, and this actually connects a little bit to, uh, to Rose and the Rose's uh, Scabbard episode. When you're a leader, uh, you have to lie to people uh, to protect them, uh, to take their minds off their problems. Uh, they need electronic devices to get their minds off the fact that, you know, life is <laughs> constantly horrible. Uh, and it's it's your job. It's not lying. It's politics. And this starts Stephen to think about how the gems have been talking to him about uh, the problems with the gem homeworld and Peridot and all that stuff. Uh, like in this episode, Pearl mentions how Peridot will be coming back to meet with them. How nice! How meet meet with them. Um, I assume much like the Empire met with the planet Alderaan, uh, that kind of meeting. Uh, so he, he ends up uh, he does end up helping the the mayor uh, in his situation dealing with the crowds. And at the end of the episode, he goes to the Crystal Gems and go, "Hey, I think I can take the truth. Uh, I think I need to know what's going on." And they're honest with him. And what I think is a really nice moment was I had had a feeling because this episode takes place before the big season finale that um, it would end on a very ominous note. It does end on a note of uh, warning of the future, uh, but the lights come back on. So it ends with saying, hey, trouble's coming, but we might be able to take care of it. Uh, I thought that was an interesting way of doing that. Uh, I dug this episode a lot. It was nice to see a different side of uh, Mayor Dewey, and I really like the whole Crystal Gems dealing with the public, and I, I hope we see more of that in the future, and I assume we will, because what they're doing is becoming more and more public, so it's kind of harder to hide from them. Uh, the best joke in this episode is the fact that that uh, Dewey accidentally reveals that he has a crush on Pearl. I mean, where he tells Stephen, it's interesting when uh, regular people meet Stephen, they don't quite know what to make of his family setup. Uh, 
Like uh, Connie's mom calls them parents or guardians or caregivers, I don't know. And uh, Mayor Dewey assumes they're his sisters. Uh, so it's interesting that people have trying to trying to figure out like, oh, hey, that thing you got there. Oh, uh, and he uh, refers to the gems as the tall one, the purple one, and the hot one. That's that makes me laugh a lot. Uh, I had been wondering for a while actually uh, if they would uh, play around with the idea of a human character having a crush on one of them. I particularly think it would be funniest with either Pearl or Garnet because of their basic tolerance of humans. Uh, a Amethyst, uh, I don't know, I could see her actually having a relationship. I mean, she she eats, she sleeps, she poops. Uh, I don't know, I could see her like experimenting with people. Uh, but the other two would be most funny, and of course Pearl. And I, I did not expect Dewey to have a uh, crush on her, I think that's just brilliant. Uh, I hope that actually comes up again sometime in the future. Uh, I think that's it. It was a very good, solid episode. Very funny. It was nice to have a funny episode, uh, especially for the end of the season. So until then, push the button. Let's see.